So this is why I'm buying $100,000 worth of Tesla at $650 a share. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. And if you watched yesterday's video, a lot of you guys know that I was looking for the $650 price point and I wanted to share with you my quick little trade plan. I'm keeping it very short and sweet. I have a limit order on my Fidelity account for 150 shares, which is a little bit under right about $100,000 flat at $650 a share. My overall plan is if I begin to see an increase of ten dollars right so we're at let's say we start at 650 if it begins to trade at 660 670 every ten dollars that it pushes up or pushes down i will be adding 100 shares uh, when it goes to lows of 635 that's the last time that i will buy more of tesla uh, and once it breaks back above 670 to around 680 that's the last time that I will buy more of Tesla leading up to its previous resistance level at $700 a share, which we've previously experienced many times before. Yes, it did previously come from highs of 730. Again, a goal is something to work towards, not something that has to be hit every single time. I personally find this to be very attractive for Tesla as a lot of you guys know, as I've been shorting Tesla, I decided to cover my profits on that short position and now because it pulled back so much, I love it. You know, the only people that freak out during pullbacks are those that were not prepared, right? If you're part of our Learn Plan Profit Group, a lot of you guys know that I've been waiting for a pullback like this. It's not that it offers any crazy return, but from where we're at right now, just even $700 a share. Uh, that's a little bit over 7%. If it were to make a full recovery, which it doesn't necessarily have to, to $730 a share, that's a little bit over 12%. Uh, Tesla, the total dollar amount that I intend to invest in with my total buying power is $300,000. So again, my intent is originally I'm buying the dip with a 33% position size, which is relatively pretty aggressive. And I will add more to my position every $10 up until that $700 price point, which is where I plan to load off on it. Just as you guys could see, it's been a previous resistance level. I wanted to share with you my trade plan on why it is that I see potential on Tesla. And today is a perfect example of, it's not that every day is a day worth trading and taking advantage of, but it's days like this where you have money set aside, you wait for the opportunity to present itself, and once you get it at a price point that you find attractive, it's not that I have to blindly buy the dip, I don't have to go all in, right? Because guess what, it can still sell off, and we need to make sure that we take that into consideration, right? That you always have enough buying power where you can buy more or you buy light enough that if it still continues to sell off, you can tolerate that pullback. That's the first one, risk management. The second one is, waiting for opportunities like this to present themselves so when they do present themselves that you're not a sitting duck. You're not sitting in your hands because you bought at the highs and now you can't do anything because you have no more buying power. And you'll see, you'll be able to see the people in the comment section, uh, those that are all for buying the dip, those that are not for buying the dip. Uh, at the end of the day, we all learn from our mistakes. I just know that I've experienced it so many times so I never want you to feel like you're alone. But this is why we always stress the idea of position size, never being afraid to lock in profits at overbought levels, and always being prepared for the worst case scenario. And again, this is in the very early stages. Today is the first day after some very unfortunate news of what's going on in Afghanistan. And obviously the market uh, seen a negative influence to that, right? Um, the market can continue to sell off. So let's not just talk about the profit potential, but let's take into consideration risk management, which is why I'm buying, buying with a lighter position. Uh, I also have a pretty um, decent position on SQQQ, as a lot of you guys know, this uh, ETF goes up when the overall NASDAQ market goes down. And as you can imagine, as the NASDAQ market pulls back due to tension with Afghanistan, uh, SQQQ goes up. So uh, I feel like I'm staying well balanced. I'm keeping it light. I'm keeping it tight. I'm enjoying it. And uh, I'm very excited to follow up. So you guys can let me know in the comments section what you guys think about my plan. Wanted to update you guys on what it was uh, that I was paying attention to. And I'm very excited to follow up. So I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. Please consider subscribing for quick updates daily. And make sure you turn on those post notifications. I'll see you tomorrow for our live trading session at Market Open. Make sure to click the second link in the description to join us for that live trading session. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.